Oh, mm-hmm. mas optimistic mm-hmm. kayo na this time. Yung end of bill mo will really pass. You know, whether it's you. going to be prioritized or not, we will continue to push through with our uh, measure, with the uh, pet bill na itinuturing nating napakahalaga at napakaimportante. So again, whether it's going to be prioritized by the uh, administration or not, uh, nalulugod tayo dahil mismo ang liderato ng Senado ay nagsalita na na ito ay ipaprioritize ng leadership ng Senate. We are also, uh, of course, uh, we can't wait to hear the officials from the administration, especially those who influenced the President to veto the measure, na ilahad sa atin kung ano yung reservation nila, anong particular provision, um, mahirap po manghula na sabihin hindi balanse, hindi makakapitalista, etc. So we are looking forward to meeting them and uh, looking forward din kung ano yung explanation behind it, especially after it was uh, prioritized, it was mentioned in the SONA, it was mentioned by the President in so many uh, uh, labor uh, sector events. Masama ba yung loob ko kay Presidente? Masama ang loob ko sa buong administrasyon. Uh, hindi ko naman huwag tinatago yun. Uh, siguro naman kahit sino po sa atin yung lumagay dun sa posisyon ko, may intindihan kung ano yung nararamdaman po natin. Um, super <laughs> uh, hindi ko maintindihan talaga yung mga lalakit babae na o oh, hindi ko naman I mean, hindi ko po talaga maintindihan yung, yung uh, ilan o isa sa miyembro ng gabinete na, na magsasalita at uh, um, gaya ng sinabi ko, it's a perfect analogy, boxing, tapos na kinukumpo na yung points ng judges, sasabihin ulitin at mag-round one ulit. So, unfortunately, uh, sila po yung pinakinggan and... Uh, Wala, we were never we were never consulted we were never asked um, ano ba masasabi mo dito totoo ba ito na ito yung ito yung uh, sa loobin ng batas for example napaka glaring na sasabihin wala ng job contracting napaka glaring hunan parang bagaho sa kasalanan major cardinal sin yan parang Dahil, ano yun, sir tama bang sabihin na parang kasi hinihingi ko yung zone eh, ng 2016 parang somehow nagamit din sa propaganda na gusto ko to Pero eventually, That's what I mentioned during my privileged speech, that somehow it appears that we were misled and we were, uh, the least to say, uh, nagamit doon sa proseso. Sapagkat the whole time, as I would say it again, the whole time, the Department of Labor and Employment, eh kasakasama ho namin. The whole time, uh, kayo ho lahat, huwag na ho yung dole, kayo na lang po lahat dito sa Senado. The whole time, saksi ho kayo dun sa mga ginagawa ho natin at uh, pinag-uusapan, um, pinag-de-debatihan, yung uh, definition ng labor-only contracting, tatlong taon natin dinibate. Ano ba yung definition nito? At ilang beses mo natin sinasabi that this will not uh, uh, ban all forms of contractualization. And yet, uh, until now, kahit sa media, may mga naglalabi pa rin, yun ang inilalabas, total ban of contractualization. Hindi naman po kasi mayroong job contracting. Ang iniwasan ho natin yung fly-by-night, iniwasan natin yung nagpapatupad ng endo, iniwasan natin ang haabuso ng mga manggagawa. Sa ngayon ho, pag kami nahuli na nagpa-practice ng endo, ni walang penalty eh. Um, sa ngayon ho, yung mga negosyante, nagre-reklamo bakit Pareho sila ng, ng negosyo ng isang uh, kumpanya, pero sila nadiklarang labor-only contracting o practicing endo. Yung isa, hindi. Bakit? Baka daw mas malakas, baka naglagay o nagpa-practice ng corruption. So, uh, yun. Pinunang ho natin gusto yun at uh, ginawa ho natin yung pinaghirapan natin yung batak. So, again, kung sasabihin ko pong hindi ho ako nagtatampo at um, walang sama ng loob, I'll be a hypocrite. Sir, di ba kayo na ba na baka mag-mix Senator Richard Gordon sa'yo? <laughs> when you sign up for this kind of work, you don't really uh, you don't really think about what what other people would say. Whoever he or she is. Um, kami, araw-araw na gumigising, na ginigising, binubulaga ng maraming batikos, kritisismo, 
um, commentator sa radyo o manunulat sa pahayagan and life just goes on uh, we just do our job at lagi ko po sinasabi importante at the end of the day meron kang kapayapaan na alam mong anytime na humarap ka sa iyong creator sa ating Diyos uh, you have the peace of mind to say that uh, you have done your part you did your best and uh, anytime nakuhanin tayo ng Diyos uh, malinis ang ating konsensya at alam natin yung calling natin at we're just fulfilling our calling Sir.